We have today come to this famous place, Hyderabad. which was ruled by Muslim kings, but they were very Indian and they fought also from the, for the independence of India with the British. You know about Tipu, Tipu Sultan, who was also a realized soul, but he was killed. We have in our country one very big problem and that is individually we are all great people. But when it comes to collective, we don't know how to live collectively. And that is why we lost our independence. Anybody can manage us if he can open our eyes and see it is quite easily understood that when people try to talk ill of others, involving us, there must be some intention. This has been our feeling since long that people use such methods that they spoil the relationships. And this should not crawl into Sajuga. When I am in India, I think I should put some light on our weaknesses also. The second weakness we have, that we are very involved with our family, with our children, with our parents, with our brothers, cousins, this, that. Till you are completely deceived or cheated by someone so close, we never learn a lesson. We are very involved all our problems are around them. We cannot get out of our family. All the time we start thinking that Sahaja Yoga should help my family, Sahaja Yoga should do this for my family. In Sahaja Yoga there is another family that has nothing to do with your family. I have seen people, Sajogis, who are of a very high level, and suddenly I find they have gone down. They have no reason to suffer in health or in any way. Then I find out that they are attached to some brother or someone who is doing some other kind of guru business. Instead of we influencing them, they start influencing us. So we have to really break our relationships with all such people who are negative because we have had relations and relations and relations all our lives. What did we get out of them? If we do not 
understand how important it is to be a Sajogi, that you are the instrument of God Almighty. So many things you know that even Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesha did not know. They didn't know much about Kundalini. They didn't know how to raise the Kundalini. They didn't know how to give realization, except for gurus. Out of them also, you know, that Janaka had only one disciple. All of them had one each. So, certain things you know are more than anybody had known before. But still, if you are sticking on to your old standards and old methods, and confusing them with Sahaja Yoga, identifying with Sahaja Yoga, then your growth will be very little. So I have to tell you that try to get out of this. Who is my brother? Who is my sister? Of course, it's a good thing to be attached in a way, to the duties that you have to perform towards everyone. But all the duties should be done in such a manner that you do not get involved in it. It is very important that you should not get involved with those duties. Whatever has to be done, you should do. But you shouldn't worry as to the fruit of it. Talking ill about others, saying things just to spoil the relationship is sin in such a Always talk good things about others. For example, if somebody comes and tells me that such and such person is not good and all that, I tell them lies. I tell them, that person was praising you so much. Why are you saying all these things against that person? So, it is important for Sahaja Yogis to create a more synthesis, more coordination, more combinations and more bringing in more and more people. But people get more attached to the negative people than to the positive people. That means still you are not in Sahaja Yoga fully. Once you start understanding this, it would be very, very clear-cut what you should do and what you should not do as far as these relationships are concerned. I mean, in India is a common thing uh, for a minister to appoint his nephew, his son, his wife, his grandson, even his servant into some post. It's a common thing. Whether they are capable or not. But in Sahaja Yoga you can't do, you have to be a Sahaja Yogi. You can't just get anybody because he's your relation and ask that, Mother, see now he's my relation, please help this man. Why should God help people who are not Sahaja Yogis? He does not know them and He doesn't want to do it. So our concept about family life has to change. Of course, the best thing you can do for your family is to bring them to Sahaja Yoga. But if you are sticking on to people because they are your family, it's very dangerous. Then there is second kind of a movement with this behavior, that you start thinking about your own city. This is my city. You could have been born anywhere. So my city, mother, you come to my city. 
is important. It's like my home, my relation, then my city, then my country. This is my country, Mother, you must come to my country. I understand your concern is good, it's patriotic, that you are worried about other people in your own country. But there should not be any attachment, one should be detached. And detached in the way, I would say, that just watch, just watch yourself and others. See for yourself. Why are you so much interested in your own country or in your own capital? Why? Why is it? When you ask this question, you will be surprised. Mostly you'll find because I belong to this place, I was born in this place, that's why I want. Mostly. Honest answer. But could be that I want also that these people should become such a wish. It's easy for me because I'm from this place, I would like them to be such okay. This is one of the basic reasons why Sahaja Yoga does not spread, that we get involved into pockets of our family and we don't go across them to others. So all our attention, all our behavior is com completely entangled into something which is not such. So we have to go beyond and know that our family is different. The whole world is our family. So we have to move out. Don't get stagnated or entangled with a small circle of few people who are negative but go beyond them because you've got the powers, you've got everything. You can easily cross over this barrier and see for yourself that you are feeling now mentally very happy, physically all right and spiritually you are there. In our Indian society, people take to sannyasa. They'll wear kashai, go out. Many people after a certain age take to sannyasa. Why not take the sannyasa inside just now? What is the need to wait till you get old and then absolutely haggard and then to say that you are a sannyasi? In any way you are a sannyasi at that time. But when you are young, if you develop this detachment, a clear-cut detachment, that is you are attached to Sahaja Yoga and to nothing else. Nothing is more important than Sahaja Yoga to you. Once you decide that, then you move in that line and you grow in that line, very well, very well. But supposing you get short-circuited and move somewhere else, then how can there be growth? It looks extremely simple to us. We must help our relations, we must help all of them. To Indians it is very easy, it happens to them very easily. But the Western people are not like that. They will not go about wasting their energy about their relations normally. They are worried about themselves. They want that they should achieve the highest themselves. Now, once we take our attention from the family, you will be surprised how this attention works across the family, across this small little wall that we have built. And you are surprised how it expands. 
and how it gives you all the blessings and all the grace of divine love. We always start thinking about our relations, about how to be kind to them, how to be nice to them, or all these things, all these behaviors of how to be nice to them, how to be good to them and all that, can be extended so much, can expand so much. As you love them, as you care for them, as you are attached to them, if you get attached to such, then the light will spread. For example, now near Hyderabad there are many small cities, small places, lots of them. You can all take up one city or one small little village or something, go there and talk about such it will definitely work out. That's how in England they have worked it out and in many other countries. So I have to tell all the Sajubis who are here in Hyderabad and who are also in other places like Vishakhapatnam or Vijayawada or anywhere, all of them should understand that at least they can spread it in their city, Sahaja Yoga, very fast, in case they get detached from their family. I know of certain Sahaja Yogis, their wives are so strong-headed that they cannot overcome even their wives, leave alone other relations. We have had an experience of such women. Especially in India, <coughs> there is a rule that whatever is the dharma of the husband, that the wife has to follow. But still I've seen that even the wives are, can be very powerful because they are so assertive, so aggressive. And if the husband is simple, he has to serve. So here I would say that one should not succumb to anyone because he is dominating or in any way assertive, but stand back and tell that this is the dharma we are following and nobody has business to check us. We are on a fundamental right doing it. Now the question is, about how we deal with each other in Sahaja Yoga, how we live with each other, how we talk to each other. What is the net result? Do we have a complete accord with other Sahaja Yogis in the same city Do you invite them to your house as you would invite your neighbors? In any matter whatsoever pertaining to you, any matter whatsoever, The relations have nothing to do with you. That's how you will start getting detached and not worrying about it. Now here are many, many Western Sajogis. हम क्या हिंदी में भी बोले थोड़ा सा कि आप लोग को समझ में आ गया आ गए अंग्रेजी समझ में आई 
ठीक है आज शाम को बोलेंगे हिंदी में description i have given now of people who are left sided actually they have attachments of the left side the right side attachments are different type as you know very well the first one is that they are individualistic they don't like collectivity i think it is a force on them This is a, a binding thing, so that they cannot rise. Right-sided people have the biggest problem is of ego, which is all the time sitting like a snake, coiled up. Something goes wrong, suddenly it comes a hop, and you see a snake come up now. The snake is very springy. But now with Sahaja Yoga, it is getting intoxicated, I think. It doesn't come up. So the attachments on what points do we get upset? We should write it down, all right. For example, what do I get upset with myself? I, when I see a Sahaja Yogi becoming bhutish, I get upset. But you just try to find out when do I get upset. And you'll be surprised most of these things are out of Sahaja Yoga. They have nothing to do with Sahaja Yoga. But you are very upset and very angry and you don't want to talk about it. So this attitude of mind has to be changed. When you are set now in Sahaja Yoga, how can you be upset? That means you are not set, simple thing. We are now set in Sahaja Yoga. So how can we be upset? A very common language there is to say, uh, I hope you are not upset. <laughs> if somebody is upset, he is upset, I mean maybe, whether you hope or don't hope. But we do not also consider how to we upset others. We don't also find out the ways and methods how not to upset others. And Even the humor we have, if it is pinching humor, if it is disturbing humor, if it is denouncing humor, that can upset a person very much. So what sort of language we speak, what sort of communication we have, what sort of harm we do to people. You need not be hot-tempered. Your ego may not be seen, but it's the style, very sly style of the ego, just to say something horrible. Second way is of criticizing others all the time. This is not good, that is not good, this is not good. Who has asked you to judge it? So you should not judge yourself, at the same time you should not judge others and punish them. In our day-to-day -day life, we have to develop a very sweet language 
extremely sweet. We have to work it out, actually work it out, because even coming to Sahaja Yoga, still it lingers certain things. And these habits can be corrected very simply, very easily. It belongs to the tongue, not to us. So it's very easy to get rid of them. The obstinacy is another thing, which is a horrible thing. Everybody suffers from this kind of very subtle obstinacy. Obstinacy, rest, these things are tied down with a rope. Now whatever may happen, you are tied down. Once I have decided, I have decided. What is the harm in changing? No, 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 we don't want any change. Now in Sahaja Yoga I'm happy, nothing is decided, nothing is fixed. We may have to have puja say, yesterday we'll have it, today that too in the morning. It should not upset you because it's all done to keep your upsetting going away. So when is the program and when is not the program is not important. What is important is that how you have managed with that change. If you do not know how to manage the change, then your transformation is incomplete. Now this English language I've learned in this lifetime. And I find there are some good points about it. That you must say ten times thank you even if somebody gives you water. Or fifteen times sorry, morning till evening. In a way it is good. But if it's just a lip service, then everybody knows that you have to say thank you, so they say thank you so much. But at the same time, if you remember how graciously He did that for you, just remember that. Next time you meet that person, all that graciousness will come out because you get a feeling somebody does something for you. You get a beautiful feeling of gratitude. And once you get that feeling, if you remember that feeling, then you will go on adding up to it. I think you also sit in the sun is too much hot. It goes on adding. The more you add these beautiful feelings with yourself, how I felt when they did it. Every time you get some sort of a experience of that kind, if you keep it within yourself, any time you open that area of your memory, all the beauty will start pouring on you of that feeling. So we have to learn new methods of making ourselves happy. Before that, we used to be happy when we hurt others. We used to be happy when we were sarcastic with others. But now we have to develop a new method of making ourselves happy. And once your mind goes on to that, I have to be happy, joyous, what am I doing? Why am I doing it like this? How can I be happy? By saying harsh things to others or by saying something mischievous, how can I be happy? I cannot be. Then this Mr. Ego, he makes me extremely unhappy. He's really spoilt my mood. And you tell him to get out now, get down, get down, then it will go down. 
at this juncture, when you are so advanced in Sahaja Yoga, I should not have told all these things to you, I agree with you entirely, that now the time is not for telling you all these things regarding your behavior toward other Sahaja Yogas. But even a slightest movement completely changes the atmosphere. So one has to be extremely careful and attentive as to know what you say, what you have to say, how you behave and how you create a feeling. In the society of Sahaja Yoga, we have beautiful people, we laugh, we enjoy, we do all kinds of things. And really we are in the most joyous company all the time. After all, it's joy. And what we achieve in joy is the highest. At the same time, we have to remember that the corrective subconscious is there and that may just jump some time and come back. Sahaja Yoga doesn't believe in any revenge, hatred, nothing of the kind. Rather than believe in any kind of a false pride or any kind of restrictions or anything, it believes in the pure sense of humanity. and also the great work of Sadhu. It gives you great pleasure to be kind, to be nice. So subside, to subside these habits, you have to do some abhyas, you have to practice and introspect yourself. I'm not saying because anybody has reported anything like that, nothing, in no way. <clears throat> but at this juncture, I'm just telling you, because now when you will be going out, you will be meeting new people, that you might have problems, <coughs> might have problems of facing people whom you would be harsh, you would be more meticulous, you may be much more aggressive than normal. All these things will upset, upset them. But if you are peaceful, tolerant, forgiving, that will definitely make them feel that you are saints. If they are difficult, leave them alone. Don't argue. By argument you cannot give them realization. If they don't have wisdom, they don't deserve it, they, don't, they are not destined to be like that. But your style has to be such that they should know that you are saints. In all your self-respect, in all your love, you have to talk to them. So now, when you are here in this country, you have to decide how you are going to spread Sahaja Yoga when you go back. Same with our Indian Sahaja Yogis. They have to also find out ways and methods how they will spread such a way. May God bless you. Today we we'll, we have so many children here. I'm so very happy to see so many children.
So, I would request all the children to come on the stage. Ganesha's mantra. Shri Ganesha Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Om Namaste Ganapataye Twameva Kirpacham Tatwa Masi Twameva Kevalam Kartasi Twameva Kevalam Dartasi Twameva Kevalam Hartasi Twameva Sarvam Kalvidam Brahmasi Twam Saksha Tatmasi Nityam Rutam Vachmi Satyam Vachmi Ava Twamam Ava Vaktaram Ava Shrotaram Ava Dataram Ava Dhataram Ava Nuchanam Ava Shisham Ava Paschatat Ava Purastat Ava Taratat Ava Dakshinatat Ava Chorduatat Ava Taratat Sarvatumam Pahi Pahi Samantat Twam Wan Mayas Twam Chin Maya Twam Ananda Mayas Twam Brahma Maya Twam Sachitananda Dvityosi Twam Pragyaksham Brahmasi Twam Gyana Mayo Vigyana Mayosi Sarvam Jagaditam Tvatu Jayate Sarvam Jagadidam Twahi Astishtati Sarvam Jagadidam Twahi Layame Shati Sarvam Jagadidam Twahi Pratyati Twam Bhumi Rapo Nalo Nilo Naba Twam Chatwari Vak Padani Twam Guna Trayatita Twam Deha Trayatita Twam Kala Trayatita Twam Mula Dara Stityo Sinityam Twam Shakti Trayat Maka Twam Yogino Dhyayanti Nityam Twam Brahma Twam Vishnus Twam Rudras Twam Indras Twam Agnis Twam Vayus Twam Surya Twam Chandramas Twam Burma Burbhuva Swaram Ganadim Purva Macharya Varnadim Tara Nantaram 
ఆనుష్వర పరతర అర్ధేనులాసితం తారణారుదం ఏతత్తవామానుష్వరూపం గాకర పూర్వారూపం ఆనుష్ మర్యామారూపం ఆనుష్వరశ్చంత్యారూపం బిందురుత్తరూపం నాద సందన సనిత సంధి సహ గణేష విద్య గణక ఋషి నిశ్రోజ్ గాయత్రి చంద గణపతిర్దేవత ఓం గ్యాం గణపత నమ ఏకాదంతాయ విద్మహే వాక్రాతుందా ధీమహి తనో దాంతి ప్రచోదయాత్ ఏకదంతం చతురస్తం పశమంకుశారిణం రాధం చ వరదం హస్తైవిభ్రాణంశాధ్వజం రక్తం లంబోదరం శూర్పకర్ణకం రక్తవాసం రక్త గంధానులిప్తం గం రక్త పుష్పై సుపూజితం భక్తానుకంపినం దేవం జగత్కరణమాచ్యుతం ఆవిర్భూతం చ సుస్థిద్రవ్ ప్రకృత పురుషత్పరం ఏం దియాయితో నిత్యం స యోగి యోగినం వర నమో వ్రాతపత నమో గణపత నమ ప్రమత పత నమస్తే అస్తు లంబోదరాయ ఏకాదంతాయ విజ్ఞానశినే శివాసుతాయ శ్రీవారదమూర్త నమ సాక్షాత్ శ్రీ ఆదిశక్తి మాతాజీ శ్రీ నిర్మలాదేవ్యై నమో నమ ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష గౌరీసుత ప్రియ మహేష గౌరీసుత ప్రియ మహేష సకల విఘన భయ కలేష సకల విఘన భయ కలేష దూర్ శ్రీ ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష గౌరీ సుత ప్రియ మహేష సకల విఘన భయ కలేష దూర్ శ్రీ ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష రిద్ధి సిద్ధి దోబునార్ చమర కరత బార్ బార్ రిద్ధి సిద్ధి దోబునార్ చమర కరత బార్ బార్ మూషక వాహన సవార్ మూషక వాహన సవార్ భక్తన హిత ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష ప్రథమ సుమర శ్రీ గణేష గౌరీ సుత ప్రియ 
महेश प्रथम सुमर श्री गणेश लंब उदर भुज विशाल सानिध द निद पाप द पमा पम गरी सालंब उदर भुज विशाल कर त्रिशूल चंद्र बाल लंब उदर भुज विशाल कर त्रिशूल चंद्र बाल शोभत गल पुष्पमाल शोभत गल पुष्पमाल रक्त वसन धारे प्रथम सुमर श्री गणेश प्रथम सुमर श्री गणेश गौरी सुत प्रिय महेश प्रथम सुमर श्री गणेश पूरण गुण गण निधान आ
तुम्हारे दरबार में बिन मांगे सब कुछ पाते आज हम आए दर पे तुम्हारे आज हम आए दर पे तुम्हारे शारदे विद्यादानी दयानी दुख हरणी मारदे शारदे शारदे विद्यादानी दयानी दुख हरणी आस लगी मोहताल सुरन की आस लगी मोहताल सुरन की हंसवाहिनी वीणावादिनी आस लगी मोहताल सुरन की हंसवाहिनी वीणावादिनी इस मूरख को कर दे ज्ञानी इस मूरख को कर दे ज्ञानी शार दे विद्यादानी दयानी दुख हरणी मार शार दे विद्यादानी दयानी दुख हरणी नमस्ते स्तु महामाये श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते नमस्ते स्तु महामाये श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते शंख चक्र गदाहस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदाहस्ते श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते स्तु महामाये श्री पीडे सुर पूजिते नमस्ते स्तु महामाये श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते शंख चक्र गदाहस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदाहस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते गरुडारूढ़े कोलासुर भयंकरी नमस्ते स्तु महामाये सुर भयंकरी सर्व पाप हरे देवी श्री निर्मला दे नमस्तुते निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सु महामाय श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते नमस्ते सु महामाय श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते शंख चक्र गदाहस्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते सर्वज्ञे सर्ववरदे सर्वदुष्ट भयंकरी सर्वज्ञे सर्ववरदे सर्वदुष्ट भयंकरी सर्वदुख हरे देवी श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते सर्वदुख हरे देवी श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सु महामाय श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते नमस्ते सु महामाय श्री पीटे सुर पूजिते नमस्ते सु महामाय सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रदे देवी भुक्ति मुक्ति प्रदायिनी सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रदे 
देवी भुक्ति मुक्ति प्रदायिनी मंत्रमूर्ते सदा देवी श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते मंत्रमूर्ते सदा देवी श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते शंख चक्र गदास्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदास्ते श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते आद्यरंत रहिते देवी आद्य शक्ति महेश्वरी आद्यरंत रहिते देवी आद्य शक्ति महेश्वरी योगजे योग संभूते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते योगजे योग संभूते श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते महापाप हरे देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते महापाप हरे देवी श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते नमस्ते सुमहामाय पद्मासन स्थिति देवी पर ब्रह्म स्वरूपिणी पद्मासन स्थिति देवी पर ब्रह्म स्वरूपिणी परमेशी जगन्माता महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते परमेशी जगन्माता श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्वेतांबर धरे देवी नानालंकार भूषिते श्वेतांबर धरे देवी नानालंकार भूषिते जगस्तिते जगन्माता महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते जगस्तिते जगन्माता श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते नमस्ते सुमहामाय श्री पीते सुरपूजिते शंख चक्र गदास्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदास्ते महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदास्ते श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते शंख चक्र गदास्ते श्री निर्मला देवी नमोस्तुते ते 
मेरी दर्श जो पाता पाप मुक्त हो जाता पाप मुक्त हो जाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता तेरी दर्श जो पाता पाप मुक्त हो जाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता तेरी दर्श जो पाता पाप मुक्त हो जाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता पावन सुहावन रूप तेरा पावन सुहावन रूप तेरा हरण करता कलेश मेरा पावन सुहावन रूप तेरा हरण करता कलेश मेरा मन मगन हो जाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता तेरी दरस जो पाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता तेरी दरस जो सबसे न्यारे हैं तेरे बालक सबसे न्यारे हैं तेरे गीत कितने प्यारे हैं मन जीवन को भाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता निर्मल माता तेरी दरस जो पाता पाप मुक्त हो जाता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता हे जगदम्बे निर्मल माता
all the leaders for Arti.
हैदराबाद में सहयोग इतने जोरों से बढ़ा है बड़ा आश्चर्य होता है और आसपास से भी सब लोग आए विशाखापट्टनम से विजयवाड़ा से कोकोनाडा से लातूर से और कहा से कुंटूर से सब देखे सब जगह से लोग यहाँ आए अगले वक्त कोशिश मैं करूंगी कि विशाखापट्टनम और विजयवाड़ा गुंटूर लातूर जो कुछ भी कर पक सकेंगे वो एक एक दिन जरूर जाएगी आप लोगों ने इतने इससे सहयोग फैलाया और सब जगह इतना फैल गया है हैदराबाद में इतने लोग सहयोगी हो गए बहुत बढ़ गया है सहयोग एक लीडर से काम नहीं होगा ये सोच के मैं सोचती हूँ कि यहाँ पर तीन लीडर बन जाए तो अच्छा है अलग अलग प्रांत बन जाएंगे अलग अलग एरियाज में काम करेंगे मिस्टर पटेल ने बहुत काम किया है और बड़ी मेहनत की और बहुत कमाल किया हुआ है लेकिन उनका भी बोझा कम होना चाहिए इसीलिए माणिक राव जो यहाँ पर तेलुगु भाषा जानते हैं और दूसरे राजीव गोयल वो कि हिंदी भाषा जानते हैं इस प्रकार तीन आपके लिए लीडर्स हो जाए तो काम सबको समझ जाएगा और सब कुछ ठीक हो सकता है इसलिए मैं सोचती हूँ तीन लीडर्स होने चाहिए जहाँ जहाँ ज़्यादा लोग हो जाते हैं वहाँ दो या तीन लीडर्स विश्व भर में हो रहा है लेकिन यहाँ तेलुगु भाषा भी है ये सोच करके हमने तीन लीडर्स की बात की है आप लोग सब समझदार हैं आपस में झगड़ा करना या कोई भी इस तरह का सोचना कि कोई ग्रुप अलग है बिल्कुल गलत बात है आप माँ के टुकड़े करेंगे इससे सब एक ही हैं लेकिन तीन लीडर्स हो जाने से वो सबको संभाल लेंगे आपस में भी सब ठीक हो जाएगा आप सबको मेरा अनंत आशीर्वाद है